Oh uh, yeah, I'm Matt Dahl from Raleigh, North Carolina. <laughs> Living in Socorro, New Mexico. <laughs> this and summer, so. For the summer, doing yeah, what? Doing, well, if like I just sur surveys for the Bureau of Reclamation. Uh-huh, how's that going? Awesome. It's just fine. Uh-huh. Just gotta walk through Salt City all day, it's not too bad. <laughs> how, how many of those birds do you actually see compared to how many you hear? Oh, uh, well, usually we try to find them and get a look at them, see if there's a pair, so we see most of them. Okay. That we hear, except for migration. We just ignore a lot of them. Cool. Yeah. So, um, we're here at Bosque del Apache, and, uh, and tell us how you came to come here today. Uh, I just woke up and decided to pop down here. It's only 20 minutes, so. So this is a day off? Yeah, it's my day off. Sundays are day off, so. Uh-huh. I wasn't expecting to come, actually wake up and come down here, but. I'm glad I did. So, so what happened? You you were coming out and you were you, you found a leaf spinner and your new leaf spinner was here. You were gonna get some video yeah, of it. I was just walking down this trail. I'd never been down there, and there was a leaf spinner just chilling on the edge of the mud flat. And he came out and he opened, so I jumped up on the side and took a video. And uh, got a little surprise in the background. My video after a little bit. So. <laughs> and what was that? Well, the the wood rail just walked right past, and. Uh, I was so surprised I stopped recording and put up my binoculars and got on them. So, so you were like, were you like watching your camera's LED or? Yeah, I was watching through the uh -huh. through the display here because the right. viewfinder. And yeah, I went through the background and I dropped my camera and just looked up. <laughs> I was so surprised. And was the bird still there or had it disappeared into the cattails? Uh, it was still, it disappeared at first and then it came right back out. And I got to look at it pretty, pretty well. And then I got a picture of its butt going into the bridge and then it disappeared. So, so what were you thinking at that point? Did you know what it was? Did you yeah, did you I, have like a list of possibilities or? Yeah, I I knew the wood rail. I don't. I guess I'd seen pictures of them, and it was so rufous. I called it a rufous neck wood rail. I guess that's the reason. Have you have you seen any wood rails no, ever? Never. So it was just like you knew it from looking through field guides or pictures online or something. I, I suppose, yeah. Huh. I like rails, so I guess I look at rail pictures sometimes. <laughs> They're probably my one of my favorite families. But, so. and. Um, so, so then what? You've got some video, you got some pictures, you got an idea that this thing might be a Rufus Weck neck wood rail, but yeah. then what? Uh, well, I, after I waited a couple minutes and didn't come back out, I called my friend Michael, he didn't answer. I came out here and looked along here to see if it come up further, because uh -huh. it's working this way. And then I called Ali and told him to look up pictures of Rufus, Rufus neck wood rail. And the description was perfect. Like I told him, what I saw, and he said, "That's that's spot on. It's not supposed to be there." <laughs> so. and, and that's Ali Liub from yeah, North Carolina. Ali, yeah, he's my buddy from down the street. Okay, and and you guys live where? Raleigh. Raleigh. Yeah, we've I've known him since he just started birding, so huh. it's been a long, long time. Huh. And so um, this has got to be one of the rarest birds you've ever seen, if not the rarest. Probably the rarest. Yeah. Uh huh. At least for range. Huh. What does it feel like to have something like this happen to you? Is it just like kind of weird or yeah, is it? Yeah, it was a surprise. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to find anything out here. I mean, it's middle of July. It's nice, like an exciting time of year to look for stuff, but I was getting out and I was pretty, pretty thrilled. So I went over to the refuge office and I was excited. They, they were excited too. You know, they're not like big birders, but they were happy that I found a new record. They saw my video, they were psyched. Yeah, well, and you know, birding's huge here at the refuge. Yeah, I mean, and so, and they had the sun grieve here a few years ago, and yeah. so folks know about rare birds here, that's for sure. Yeah, they're, they're talking about how many people are going to come. I'm uh -huh. sure they're. And, and uh, how, how many hours do you think you've spent here today? Um, I got here like eight something, and uh -huh. then back to my place like 2.30, came back out here at six. And, and what time is it now? Uh, it's like, gosh, I don't even know. It's got to be. Like a number of hours, I guess. Seven thirty-five. So yeah, I've been out for like nine hours today, maybe. Eight. Wow. How many people do you estimate have come to see it? Do you know? Uh, probably near a hundred today, at least. Wow. Hard to tell because I wasn't here for a couple hours. And how many mosquito bites do you estimate you've gotten in the last couple of minutes? <laughs> Cool. Anything else you want to tell folks about the bird or about the experience of finding it? No, it's great. I mean, I'm just glad I got the video. It was, it was uh, exciting and 